Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, today we're going to talk about an artist who is alive. <laughs> I think we've talked about a lot of artists who are no longer with us. But today's artist is alive and well, except he's very old. He's like in his 90s or something. He was born on April 19th, 1932. Today's 2016. You do the math because I am not good at math. But anyway, we're talking about the Colombian artist Fernando Botero, who is a figurative artist. And a figurative artist is an artist who... Um, focus is the human figure, male and female, and he uh, has a very distinct style because the subjects in his paintings were always large and <laughs> excessively fat, <laughs> um, kind of like most Americans. <laughs> hey, I think the U.S. Is, has the biggest rate of obesity. It's in Mexico. And Mexico. Well, North America. But anyway, that's neither, neither here nor there, but is the topic of today's uh, drawing because we're drawing uh, a Botero-inspired drawing. He is, women were always large, but this is not a woman, this is a child. This is King Philip IV's daughter um, who we're doing, and she's in the painting by Diego Velázquez, Las Meninas. She's the one in the white dress. So we're going to draw her today, except she's going to be like 100 pounds overweight. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start with the eyes. Um, and you I was, make her fat? She's yeah. Like, so you transform her. Into well, Fernando Botero transformed her first, and a lot of his paintings he transformed were, were um, in other paintings. Like he did the Mona Lisa, the fat version okay. or the large version. Do you see that in this painting she has he has like a dwarf, like a yeah yeah and the um, Velasquez. There's like a draw dwarf person. In, anyway, I saw that painting when I went to the Prado Museum in Spain. It's very beautiful. Cool. So we're going to start with the eyes and we're going to draw two smiley faces. <laughs> what? And now you can't have that much happiness, so let's draw two sad faces. One on top. On top of the sad face. And that makes your eye almost lemon shaped. And now we are going to draw the eye. So you just add a circle inside and then the iris. You do the same thing on the other side. When I went to Denver, I actually, I've never seen Fernando Botero's paintings in person, but I've seen his sculptures and they're pretty impressive. So I, I like his work. I think it's very interesting and different. It's 84. 84? But I'll, his style is one of the most that is plagiarized. Like a lot of, there's a lot of people that try to emulate his style. Like that painting I have there. Look up. Oh, this one. Right. Yeah. Don't you think they're trying to copy Botero? Yeah. Well, anyway, the eyebrows. And then we're gonna uh, draw her nose. So to draw her nose. She has a very small, petite nose, so we're going to draw like almost two little seeds. And then a line between it. And the nostril, kind of like an upside down question mark. And the one on the other side. Now, her lips, once again, the very small since her face is so round, I mean, when you get fat, your eyes don't get bigger, your mouth doesn't get bigger, just your head gets bigger. So every all the features are very small because she's five years old, remember? Um, hashtag, I'm not fat shaming, I'm just saying. <laughs> And now we have her face, so now we're going to make her head. And to do that, you're going to make like a backward C. And this marker's out. <clears throat> and then we're going to start with her, um, her hair. So her hair is going to start up here and then come down. But I'm going to stop there because she has like a flower in her hair, so we're going to go ahead and draw that. <laughs> um, 
and then you can just draw the petals. And keep going until you get your desired size. Once again, if I'm going too fast, just freeze me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a Fernando Botero painting? In person? Yeah. No. Did you know who he was though? Yeah. Well, he now lives in Paris, France. He's married to an artist too, but he spends his summers in Medellin, Colombia. He's Colombian like Maluma. Mm -hmm. Maluma, Shakira, Sofia Vergara, Wills. So there we have her hair, and now we can ex I think I'm going to stop on the hair and then go to um, her dress she has this very intricate like pin on it uh, and it's we're gonna start by drawing it like an upside down not an upside down like a kite a diamond the circle inside and then you just do this all around it And then it's a there's a flower behind it, so then you just add the petals. In this case, it's four. <clears throat> and now we've, that's her pin. So now we can make the the dress. Actually, her neck. on one side and then on the other side it's covered by her hair and just mark it out so then there's like ribbon that connects to this piece pin or whatever that is on her dress and then her ears are slightly sticking out from her hair And then this, this will be the top of her cape. It's almost like a cape dress. I don't know what it is, but anyway, she's wearing it. And then now you can bring the hair all the way to the bottom. That's the lines. Make her shoulder on this side. <clears throat> the hair is kind of blowing, her ears pe peeking out. And then this part is like a cape, so then you just make a line to the left and to the right. And then her arms will be on the sides, right here. I don't have room for the other arm, but anyway, there we have a Fernando Botero inspired drawing. It was actually based from the painting by Diego Velasquez Las Meninas. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave in your comments what you think about the Velasquez, my drawing, Botero, and the problem of obesity in North America. <laughs> <laughs> Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, Go over to my channel and check out uh, the rest of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Adios y bye.